welcome. Today I wanted to do a sort of drawer organizational video. The way that I will be doing this is showing you all my items in my drawer. And it's not organized, of course. And I will take everything out and then reorganize it back in the drawer the best I can. So, that will be the video. And that is the drawer. It's not exactly like junk drawer, but I do have a lot of miscellaneous items in it, and they all have a purpose, but they're all kind of together. And it is part of our dresser, so it's kind of one of those catch-all drawers, if you will. Alright, so I'm going to open the drawer, and we can dive right in. drawer with all of the items. As you can clearly see, it is a hot mess. And hopefully today I can reorganize it a little bit with you. So thank you for joining me as I reorganize everything here. Let's begin with this item. So, this item is something that I use often. They're actually blister bandages. So, they are blister bandages. It is an empty box, so I need to throw it away. And I actually need to order more. I wear these a lot with my Doc Martin shoes. And also, I wear them to Disneyland with my sneakers as extra protection. They are blister bandages, hydrocolloid gel I think I pronounced that right. Um, and it's like a silicone feel. Much more comfortable than band-aids, in my opinion. So, this is an empty box. That means it's trash. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the trash box. We have this box, and it may look like a pill box, which it could completely be that sort of thing. Or it could be for organizing beads or small objects that you care about. And for me, this actually is meant for reusable press-on nails that I like to wear every now and then. I don't have any on today. Um, as I kind of grow my collection of press-on nails that I can reuse, if I'm able to reuse them, I like to store them easily in something like this. I think I have another box, actually, that has actual nails in it, so that will be a better example. This is the interior.
Very nifty. A nice little display case for something like press-ons. These are actually a pair of blue light glasses. So I need to put them back in their case. to keep these, so I will put these in the keep pile. This is a perfect example of something that I don't use often. And obviously has a purpose. But does it need to be in this drawer is the question. So this is actually a travel brush, makeup brush, wrap I have a whole bag devoted to travel cases and it might be more suitable to have the travel cases all together for easy access. As you can tell, it's messier. Even more so, right? We'll hopefully fix that. This is an extra pack of nail glue, file, and um, just little items that usually come with my press-on nails when I purchase them. So I got some nails from Jazzy Nails, and I still have this little pack left, so I want to keep that and keep it with my press-on nail. This is an Etsy shop seller for nails. It comes in this cute little bag, which I thought was very cute. It's like holographic. aside. <laughs> so, this definitely does not belong. Um, this is the post-it items that I used for the gardening video I did, the gardening planning video. And unfortunately, I just never put them away properly after that video. I just stuck it in this drawer since I film over here a lot. So, I just plopped it in. I will need to go ahead and store this where my office supplies are. Okay. What else do we have? Some more nail tools. I think I should just empty this out and put these properly with my nail tools that I store in my storage box. Be something I need to just go ahead and do. Next, we have some cloth masks. These are kind of everywhere. For whatever reason, I had bought more expensive cloth masks during, you know, that time of mask buying. Even though I think at this point, I think cloth ones aren't even useful. I'm not like 100%. the ones that are like the cheapest, most uncomfortable ones I've somehow been able to keep, but the more expensive ones I've somehow lost. So that was kind of a bust. It's not like you can expect to not lose something so tiny, you know? They're like socks. They'll just go missing. And you can't do anything about it. We're just going to store these away somewhere. This is an example of one of the nicer cloth masks that was more expensive. By expensive, I mean about five to ten dollars, like per mask. Although I think I got like a bundle deal somewhere, and they're like adjustable straps, which I liked. And they're obviously more comfortable. I have a scarf. 
rarely wear this scarf, but I usually put my head accessories, hats, things like that in a different place. So I think I'm going to put this with those items. It's a pretty like standard like silk bandana. in my purse because I ran out so I think I'm going to put this back in my purse you can never go wrong with personal dishes ring sizer in a plastic bag to kind of keep everything together. So there's like some ring sizers and then you can measure your rings with this tool. So because me and my husband like buying rings now, <laughs> uh, we just decided to get this to help us with knowing our ring sizes and ring sizes vary per finger. Right? So, this is just like a really helpful tool to get. It's just have, you know, as something to help us out um, finding our sizes. And then it makes buying jewelry online far much more simple. Right? decide if I want to keep it in the drawer or not. We'll see. Okay. This is the actual box with some press-ons in it. So, you can see I have some press-on nails that I've actually used before and I just stored them here after obviously removing them. some in here that I can't really use anymore. Like, this is a great design, but unfortunately I had to, like, cut off one of the nails. Like, disintegrate it, essentially. Because it was having a hard time coming off one of my nails, so. I've kept it, the rest, but unfortunately I, I won't be able to wear them all again, so I'm gonna have to get rid of those. There's a few sets here, though, that I can't I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I have a couple more hand wipes. This is a lavender hand sanitizer. These are wet ones, which I really love to use. Especially when you're going out and you're eating food with your hands. Like, let's say you're having tacos, right? And the tacos are really messy but you're not going to eat your tacos with, like, a fork and a knife. So, I love these wet wipes just because they can clean your hands much more than just, you know, putting a dollop of hand sanitizer or trying to wipe down with dry napkins. This just feels cleaner if you can't, like, get to a restroom sink, you know, as soon as you want to. And I hate having like stuff on my hands and like stickiness. So it's nice to have these on hand so I can kind of get rid of that sensation on my own until I find a restroom or something. I think I'm going to try and um, figure out how I'm going to store these. I think I already have a pack in my bag. 
so I don't know if I need to just start keeping like extra supplies in certain places of these types of things. Um, like for example, I found another tissue. These are kind of just thrown everywhere. So I need to figure out a system of keeping, you know, extras of certain things that I throw in my bag every now and then. This is trash. Yeah, it's just um, an old envelope that used to have some press-ons that I had bought but already used. So, I'm gonna put this in the trash pile. These are actually nails that I have yet to wear. I'm kind of waiting until AU sample, but I think I'm just gonna throw this out because I think it's pretty old. I get these like jewelry, like promo cards. I'm not sure if I'll keep them, so we'll see. There's some like random coupons that uh, I'll just need to figure out if I'm gonna keep or toss out, but I'm not gonna keep them in this drawer because they're just not gonna get used if they stay in there. Some stuff in here that I can throw away. Or I think a cool tip is if you don't want the cards sitting around but you want to keep the promo code, you can make like a notes 
list in your phone of all the promotions um, if you know they're still applicable like promo codes or you can take photos of them and then just toss the paper out so you still have the promotion but you don't need the paper lying around I'm not sure why I just thought of that but I'm sure some people already <laughs> Oh, this is cute. I might keep this. This is from the Festival of Holidays back when we went um, during, I think it was like early January. It was like, it was like the food festival at uh, Disney California Adventure. I might just keep it for the memes, you know? won't keep it in this drawer, but I'll put it somewhere else. I have a little box of like memorabilia stuff. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little map. And then you see all the different foods. Let me dive into the menu items. That's nifty. and I think I might keep it in this drawer because it's close to my makeup station so I'll probably keep it around here this is an old Maturi bag Maturi um, jewelry usually comes in like boxes and then like wrapped in this bag so I keep these canvas bags they're pretty handy a lot of maturity jewelry so I have all their like little papers which honestly I could probably throw out there's just like a lot of random little bags and like papers in here so I think I'm gonna sift through this and um try to find a place for it elsewhere maybe with all my other bags of my other bags. It's not really being used. I have this old wallet bag. And it has just a bunch of cards in it. Old cards like my college ID and I have this I have this old Disney ticket we get that. I kinda like keeping things like that. I have a hotel key another makeup case, a uh, makeup brush case. This one, on the other hand, does have makeup brushes, although I do think I could remove these and simply put this back with the rest of my travel items. Just have, like, a random plastic bag. Definitely left this to accumulate for like my ice roller manual in here. Like, I'm not really sure I need to keep this in here. Um, 
This is the festival holiday pass where it comes with tabs for the different meals you purchased as like a package. We didn't end up using two of them, which makes me very sad, but we just, the timing didn't work out. So we didn't end up using them when we were there and tried to go again. But I like, I think I'll keep it just for now, but not in this drawer. I think I can find a better place for it. I have a lovely little um, dish organizer thing and like barely anything in it. So I feel I should put this to good use. There's a little uh, jewelry box from Little Rooms. I might just throw these out just because I don't really have any use for them, but we'll see um, if I can find a place for them. Once again, don't think it's this drawer. The nail filer, I do have a place for my nail stuff, so I'm going to put that somewhere else. And then I have this old I'm gonna keep this in here and see what else I can fill this up with. But for now, I'm gonna put it to the side. I have another little bag uh, with smaller bags inside the bag. I think I'm a bag hoarder, you guys. Like small little bags that I never use. So I really need to go through these and um, once again. Again, probably with travel stuff, just in case I want to put jewelry in them or something fragile. I think these are pretty useful to reuse, so I, I don't think I'd give them away. So, put them where I can potentially use them. Oh, this is so nice. I should probably keep this out somewhere. Um, find a place for it to be displayed. But it's actually a little, um, like, little box, and it's from Animal Kingdom from Disney World. And I, we went to Disney World for our honeymoon. <laughs> and uh, I got this little box from Animal Kingdom, and it's super cute. And I don't really put anything. put anything in particular inside, but perhaps I can find something. Um, but it's beautiful. I don't want to get rid of it. But I don't exactly want it stuck in a drawer, you know? Maybe I'll find a way to display it. Just a little scratch. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. We have one tape, which is also pretty handy, you know, if I need to do any measurements. We'll see. I'm not sure um, if I'm going to keep it in here. Maybe with the ring sizer, that would be a, a nice, um, you know, pairing, because it has to do with fashion stuff. Case. What does this 
nothing too bad. I've got to figure out um, a place for this, probably in one of my purses or something, or in the car. So I think I'm going to give them away. Uh, they're just not my style anymore. Or maybe I'll try them on. They're very like 2015, <laughs> you know. So we'll see. Um, I have an old wallet. I should put those with some wallet items. I have another pair of sunglasses, which I'm not sure if I give these away. This is a fun little package. It's crinkly inside. That's because it holds like little extra buttons and um, like extra little accessories that come with a lot of clothes. I randomly have a, like a brooch. That's cute. Um, so this is something I definitely want to keep. Oh, I have some like, uh, I have some like in, um, sewing needles in here. So I think I have some pins. So I think I'm going to keep this. Like the measuring tape and the ring sizer and the uh, all that good stuff. Another. These boxes actually do have some things in them, and these are like old jewelry that I can't really part with. Like, uh, I got this ring in Florence, Italy, and I got this one in Venice, right? I just don't really want to, you know, part with these because they mean a lot to me. From Sienna, these like leather bracelets that were all the rage. So I'm going to keep this. Maybe I keep it somewhere else. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it in here for now. But they're not things I reach for, they're more like memories. Again, I don't want to part with, so I'm 
might find a way to um, store these somewhere else. I just don't really wear watches anymore. But I wouldn't want to part with those just yet. I have a miscellaneous The original way I used to store my press on nails, but now um, I put them in a little box. So I'm gonna actually put these in the box as well. I love this dish so much. I actually got it from Florence, Italy as well. Or not Florence, Venice, Italy. <laughs> when I was there in like high school, it's a little dusty. Isn't it cute? It's where glass blowing is like very prominent. I love it so much. So I think I'm gonna take this out of the drawer because it's super cute and I remember how much I love it. I want to find a place for it in my home where I can fondly look at it and remember my travels. I'm not sure what I'd stick in the dish. <laughs> but maybe like a cute little trinket or something. Okay, I'm gonna go find a place for this. A new home if you some fabric scissors, which I do want to keep. And then I have a little sewing travel kit. And I don't really sew that well. But I do like to keep something like this on hand, so... Maybe I threw it in my purse? I don't know. That's probably what it's meant for. Maybe I stick it in my purse. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I'm not sure I'd know how to sew on the fly if given the opportunity. It's kind of more like at home stuff I would do. But we'll see. I'll keep it with the other fashion stuff. Super cute. We have a little box from Costa Rica. I got when I was there. I should probably also find does have some jewelry from when I was younger in it. Um, just things that are sentimental. So I think I will try and see, much like the other boxes, how I can store this. But this is pretty cute out on its own, so I might be able to find a place for it. That's not in the store. Alright, so we've reached the remaining article. this one, so perhaps this is one we just attempt to use. <laughs> so for now, this is kind of what I'm looking at. I think I'm, for now, I'm going to stick my makeup brushes in this empty tray. That's mainly because I have a ton of brushes already in my brush holder. These are more like extras or ones I don't use very often, so makes more sense to kind of have them here, but they're visible, and I can easily grab them if I need to. I wish I had more little storage boxes to kind of corral things together, but I think that might be a little harder to get at the moment. This 
isn't something I'm going to reach for very often, so I think I'm going to keep the fashion stuff like towards the back. For these extra packs of items I usually use all the time, I'm going to store them in this little that I kind of use on the day-to-day -day. and also stick them in here because these are things that I put in my work bag a lot of the time so I think that all really makes sense I have these like eyeglass cleaning cloths it's not going to be perfect but I'm just going to stick them right there and I'll figure that out later I have the box of extra nails and then I have an extra box that I don't have any nails in, but I'm going to keep it together. Stick these there. I'm already deciding to change things, which I think is fine. It's a normal process. Stick the scissors. Stick the scissors in the little brush holder thing. Just seems like the best. easily tangled. And because I don't have a home for them just yet, I think I'm going to take the old jewelry, like mementos jewelry that I want to keep around and stick them in the drawer back here. I'll probably find a different place for them sooner than later. enjoy because now I could probably stick some extra sunglasses in here um, that I like wear day to day um, so I think I might do that and add them into the mix I almost forgot my ring sizer <laughs> now this doesn't this isn't exactly something that I'm going to pull out all the time, but I think I'm going to figure out how to kind of adjust it. So, I'm going to stick it to the side. Alright, so this is how I've rearranged some of it. I'll probably stick some sunglasses in this empty space here, but I have the ring sizer flush up against the side, the little, you know, miscellaneous tools. It's not the most perfect situation, um, so I definitely think there's room for improvement, for sure. 
I think that's it. There's really nothing else I think I'm going to put in here for now, but I like that I can see everything, I know what everything is, and everything's more compact. And I actually really like this corralling of like extra products I switch out or often use in my bags. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for reorganizing my drawer with me. I truly appreciate it. And uh, it was a pretty interesting task to realize that I put a bunch of stuff in here that I just don't really have a purpose for. It's trash or I should just get rid of it or it belongs somewhere else. So thank you so much for helping me clean it out and make it more functional. And I'm going to wrap up my drawer organization um, after this, but I appreciate you joining me and I hope that you are well wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of old school ASMR. I love a good organization video. So maybe I'll, I'll do more in the future when I can. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next I'll see you later.